Alright, in this video I will be going all over all of the upgrades I did for my K8200 printer. So first off, if you get this printer, the Z-axis will wobble a lot and you will really see it in your prints. So my uh, Z-axis rod was a little bent, so I got a new one. And I also got a little coupler which is like this little metal cylinder that attaches the rod to the motor and lets it, let it, lets it have some space and wobble a bit because if, it's, if it has it stuck the wobble will transfer into the, uh, the horizontal uh, metal rod over here where the hot end is attached to and if, it's, if it has some space to move it will not transfer it and it will just you know, move a little bit. So I also um, printed a, a new bracket for the motor because the, yeah, the one that came with it was just a little, a little metal plate that was bent with some holes in it. It really didn't hold it on all that good. <laughs> I will show you the little... Uh... <coughs> yeah, well, I won't show it like that. I will put a picture of it on the video. So, because um, it's behind there. I also yeah, printed a case and um, a case for my electronic, for my PCB to go in because, you know, aluminium is conductive, if it touches it I'm fucked, so I really want to wanted to have that as fast as possible. Um, then I also raised my y-axis 12 millimeters, which really was needed for me to use really small um, pinions. These are GT2 pinions with the GT2 belts, which is a lot more accurate and a really a better belt than the one that came with it. And because I raised it and used the smaller pinion, because if I didn't, it would rub against this rod. It has a higher resolution because it has to turn more for it to move. Um, and I also, I also use one of those pinions as a follower uh, pinion instead of the bearing that was here. Because that's, I think that's a lot better. And there's, there are two bearings in these plastic parts that turn that, that make that uh, that make that sort of little screw turn or bolts rather. So my x-axis also has the same belts that I uh, put on there, the same GT2 um, pinions. Then over here I got a new uh, attachment plate that I printed with again a GT2 bearing uh, pinion in it with two bearings at the side and a bolt in it. Then, one of the biggest things you can upgrade is the hot end, because the one that came with it was really absolute crap. Uh, this is a E3D V6 hot end, which I think is really, really good. If you get it, don't forget to print a little bracket for it, or you wouldn't be able to attach it. My hot end actually blew up. Uh, well, it's my previous hot, ed hot end broke, and the it, it was too hot and yeah, a lot of plex, plastic gooey and shit. And the um, little plastic part, white parts, broke and I had to um, print this part still. Yeah? So I made a little uh, part out of metal, a little bracket out of metal to attach it. And it, it was that high or something because it, it, it was really hard to attach it. And then um, I uh, I printed that part and I could attach it. So I'm pretty lucky that I was able to do that or I would have to ask someone else to print it or buy it somewhere. So um, the other thing I did was, you know, this side of the, uh, of the horizontal uh, rod is not supported so you can push it up and down. You know, it's not really a problem because we're only going up and, um, you know, it will go a little like that, it will stay straight. 
but you know, I really wanted to level it a bit because you know, uh, when I push on here or something. Um, so <clears throat> there's someone that made a cable system on Thingiverse. So I also made that, but I used uh, metal uh, rope a cable. Yeah. So that's really really strong, and that really, really will not stretch out. I also used some. Um, some of those uh, cable tighteners and I you know I checked if it could move all the way so it, it can um, so that will keep it really straight but it's not done all the way yet because the, the the little followers the uh, plastic bits here that support the cable are not that good and really don't turn that good and right now it creates too much friction for the th for uh, the z axis you know we can still push it up but the in here you know there's a little uh, little nut on the z axis and if you move up it will go up and push this up but if there's too much friction it will stay and go up without everything and it will it will have set axis slack slop whatever you call it. It's a well known thing. A, re a way to get around it is to print something with a spring that tensions it. But I really uh, have to look into that. Uh, I don't really mind how it is now. <laughs> yeah, it's not really one of my things on my top list. Uh, um, <clears throat> I also printed something to hold the spool better so it could rotate a lot easier then yeah what else did I upgrade? I think that's it actually mm, yeah one time I also had my hot end run into the cables here so I had to fix that oh yeah there's also um, Another piece printed here for the engine to for the motor to get it up 12 millimeters so the stepper is up and um, you know hold the axis is up. Some printed parts. I also have the LCD screen here. You can use it as a standalone printer, but you know that's not not that good because you know I, there's a little knob here and I broke it off so I cannot use it anymore <laughs> but I need to see the temperature and stuff um, yeah I should go to the electronic store and get a new part for that but yeah that's that's all that are all my upgrades I did and it really made it a lot better the printer in the beginning it really was bad um, the z-axis wobble that was really 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 bad and the hot end was not that good the belts not that accurate so now it's a lot better and a really important thing to do but the most important thing to do is to calibrate your printer properly because you know you want one millimeter to be one millimeter and you want one centimeter of filament to be one centimeter of filament coming out yeah. And then, yeah, that's probably all of it. Thank you for watching, and maybe I'll see you next time.